tankers and tankettes. My name is Adam Snellgrove and it is time for the main event of the weekend. In one corner, it's the premium tank you didn't know you wanted but still got, the FV4202 and Corbin Dallas. In the second corner, it's the hottest tier 7 TD to hit the battlefield, Cheeto SP and Gear 40. And in the third corner, the tank you all got by asking your 3,500 win rate friends to complete the missions for you, Object 260 and Herr Pepe. So remember to like and subscribe as we get ready to rumble! Phew, I nearly lost my voice during the intro. Anyway, our first replay comes in from Corbin Dallas in the FV4202 and the owner of one heck of a good-looking 3D style as well. Ooh, that's a decent chunk of Corbin Dallas's HP gone already, and the battle only just started. But while our hero is fighting for their life here on the front line, how about we take a look at how our TD allies are faring? Don't you just love passive TD players? <laughs> Thankfully, the cutesy little top hat is not a hitbox. Ooh, that's an important kill on one hand. On the other, it's also the last bit of our meaningful HP just thrown away. Oh, what a lovely blind shot! Oh, what was that? I felt a disturbance in the force. Editor, zoom in on that minimap. That is absolutely incredible! After 10 minutes, the Yak Panzer has finally found the W key on their keyboard! Even the Stura Emil has opted against fuel saving. On such a rare occasion, it might be worth backing it up. Here we go, an enemy TD caught out of position. Oh wow, that was the play all along! The Stura Emil saved their HP in order to withstand shells meant for our hero. A valiant strategy which allows Corbin Dallas to secure the one line. And finally crack the enemy defenses. So the only thing left to do in order to secure the pools medal is... A welfare check on this GW Panther. GG! A solid game to get things going in this episode. Corbin Dallas put on a masterclass in the FV4202 to secure the victory on mines. Dealing 5,785 damage while claiming 10 kills and 1,997 base experience is no small feat. Thus, we shall be awarding this replay with 2,000 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Up next, we've got something you all highly requested every week in our comment section. A tier 7 tank facing what's mostly a team of tier 8 and 9 opponents. Something Gear 40 has surely been dreading after spawning on Sand River in a Cheeto SP. Hey, not bad. That's first blood belonging to our hero. 
However, if our editor would be so kind as to bring up the minimap, we could clearly see that with just two tanks covering the south approach, the appropriate meme to use would be... <laughs> I'm in danger! Bah! Everyone knows reading the minimap is overrated anyways. Who cares about some icons moving in the corner of the screen when the main action happens right in front of you? Oh, that's not a very convenient spot to find an enemy tank in. Double O. Yeah, that's not looking like a very favorable engagement, is it? Yet, instead of pulling back, Georg 40 opts for a flanking maneuver. And it's working! Well, maybe not for everyone. Very nice! Georg 40 has actually managed to hold off the enemy advance long enough for allies to arrive. Though with the cap pressure in full effect, it is once again our bulky Tier 7 TD that is tasked with rescuing the situation. Stalling the cap just long enough for the reinforcements to arrive. Instead of sitting inside the cap circle, Georg 40 is on the move yet again. You would have thought this was a medium tank gameplay, but no! It is just a bottom tier Cheeto SP slapping the enemy team! Woohoo! That was lucky! However, 17 HP proves to be plenty for Georg 40 to survive this epic game! GG! Now that was one heck of a bottom tier carry, would you not agree comment section? I mean, what more could you ask from a replay like this? 6,221 damage, 4 kills and 2,178 base experience while fighting the likes of AE Phase 1 and Standard B head-on. And not just that, but playing aggressive and being on the front line? I can't think of a better replay to feature this week. A well-deserved 2,500 gold and a best replay star will be heading Georg's 40s way. Well done! And for the finale, oh, do we have a treat for you! On Ruinberg, we've got Herr Pepe in the Object 260. Whoa, going all in right from the start! It takes a mad mix of confidence and recklessness to attempt a move like this in the first 30 seconds, but Herr Pepe has managed it! It's been fun, but your time is up. Ooh, unlucky. This one gets to live a while. Nope. Herr Peppy, what do your elf eyes see? So 
So maybe this would be the appropriate moment to mention that Herr Pepe stands on nearly 7,000 damage, seven kills and 5,700 damage blocked. Incredible numbers. And we're not even close to being done just yet. How do you like that frontal fuel tank, 1 to 1B? Whoosh! That one is gone too! An incredible effort, which secures a pool's medal for Herr Pepe. But with still one more tank left alive. Whoa! No way we're actually going to head on charge a camping grill 15! Incredible! GG! What a game! What a replay! Amazing from start to finish! A true masterclass! Herr Pepe sent us a game of their life, dealing 10,240 damage, blocking another 6,400, scoring 11 kills and 1,965 base experience, a number which you simply don't see in Tier 10. And since I'm running out of superlatives to describe this replay, let's just cut to the point and award Herr Pepe with 3,000 gold, a best replay style, and name them the best replay! Congratulations! And that concludes our selection for the week, my dear viewers. As once again our time together comes to an end, I'm contractually obliged to remind you to send in your replays, because we can never have enough of those just like ice cream cones on a hot summer day, or comments like these ones to brighten our day. In any case, let us know what you thought of this week's episode, and until we meet again, I'm Adam Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!